Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review for the Dirt Devil Endura Reach Vacuum Cleaner. And I originally got this because I didn't want anything too expensive because I only have like three or four different rugs in my house. But this works pretty well on hardwood floors. And I'd say the thing I enjoy most about it is the ability to extend this to areas where I can get cobwebs or maybe like under countertops. And I am able to get about maybe three or four feet, maybe six feet with this hose and reach up into high places to suck up spiders or different bugs. And I love it for that reason. Some high reaching places that I can get to with this vacuum cleaner. So let's put everything on here. And this is pretty high up. I'd say this is maybe about 11 feet. 10 feet high and I'm able to go ahead and just suck up everything on my ceiling and it's so easy. I love it just for that reason. So it's a huge extension. So if you got high ceilings, you have the length to pretty much get anywhere. So I kind of just keep it laying out in the open just in case I come across a spider and I want to suck them up real quick. So this just goes like this on the back and then clips back into your cleaner just like this. And then you have your electrical cable right here, just on the side. And uh, you don't have the longest length here, but I can extend pretty much the entire length of the room. So you might need like an extension cable in case you want a little bit more range, because this one isn't that long. Now in terms of easy use and cleaning, this is bagless, so I just have to press on the top right here. And then this is what it looks like if I unsnap this and rotate it around. I'll see the filters inside. So this is the filter on the top here. And this does slide off here. You can rotate it around and then you can rinse it out and clean it. Do whatever you need to do. But this is very easy. Just make sure you clean it like every couple times you use the vacuum cleaner. Otherwise it may clog up and make the motors run a little bit harder than they're supposed to. It's easy to snap this back on. You just have to align right here on the top and snap down. Sometimes it can take a little bit of effort pushing it back down. And then you have to rotate it back around. And there it's snapped in. So once you collect everything, all you have to do is press the release right here. And this will open up just like this. Ooh, and as you can see, I've collected some stuff in there already. So I don't want to open up in my house. So it's very easy to clean the filter on the top and to dispose of everything into the garbage. Then there is another filter down here at the bottom that you'd want to go ahead and clean also every couple uses. So this should just come off like this. And this is a very small like foam piece right here. Just clean this and then put it back in. You just rinse it along with your top filter here. And this should snap back on. Going like this. Now, to start it, there is a power switch on the bottom here. So you put your foot right here, move it around, press the power button right here on the bottom with your foot, and it turns on. Now, if you look at my foot, I have 11 in men's shoes in the United States. And this vacuum cleaner isn't the largest across. So this would be perfect in like an apartment or something. But if you do have a large home and you're going to be vacuuming a lot, you might want to upgrade to something that is a little bit larger for that reason. Then this is what it looks like on the bottom. Now my brush looks pretty clean right now. I don't have any strings or anything attached to it. I've used this maybe for about two years. So I'm doing pretty good in terms of keeping it clean. And when I bought this, this was originally like 49 bucks. I bought it off of Amazon. I believe the price is upward around $70. So now that I just did a quick overview of the vacuum, let's do a live demonstration. So let's just do a before and after. You can see I have a bunch of crumbs and dirt and bread and whatever I put down over there. So let's see how well this actually picks up particles off the hardwood floor and then my more like rug slash carpet. So I'm just going to go ahead and push it down, press the power button on the bottom here, do a quick pass, quick pass, quick pass, and do a cup pass with you. All right, 
right, so let's see what we actually collected here. So I can see some cereal in there, breadcrumbs, rice, etc. Now, in terms of how much we picked up, I mean, it does look better. Let's get a little bit closer here and just feel around. See if we can lift anything up. Now, I really don't notice too much. I can see a little bit here and there. So I think it did a decent enough job collecting everything. I had a lot of small, fine crumbs. Um, rice seemed to not get picked up as well. So I can see some rice right here. So on the hardwood floor, it looks okay. I went around and just collected everything with my extension piece right here. That seems to work better on hardwood floors. Looks like I should go ahead and clean under the mat as well. So in terms of how good it cleans, I'd say it cleans decent enough. The biggest disadvantage would probably be the width of the actual vacuum cleaner. And I would say it could clean up a little bit better. I can still see some pieces that are left over. And if you're just looking for something a little bit cheaper just to clean your smaller apartment, and if you don't have a lot of carpeting, I would say this would be a good option. But if you're gonna be vacuum cleaning an entire house, I'd say spend a little bit more money. But for me, it is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted, and it wasn't expensive. So hopefully this quick review and demonstration helped you guys out. If you did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more random home videos coming up next time, your six adventures.